Hey Alpha Fam, welcome back to another episode of Alpha Commission. Today we have a five minute market update. Uh, it is Valentine's Day. You might not have time to check out the news, so let me just go ahead and do that for you. We really have two things on the table today. We have the uh, Federal Reserve you know, talking about uh, interest rates, with how much they're going to hike them. The big fear was that they were going to have uh, double interest rates. And then the uh, war with, uh, you know, between Ukraine and Russia situation, right? That's putting a lot of weight on the market because that could impact energy as well as, you know, distribution, all sorts of um, things in Europe and uh, Russia. It's a very strategic area of the world. And so, you know, the outcome of that is very important. Now, on the former we have the interest rates are basically left unchanged. There wasn't any decision made with the uh, Federal Reserve Committee. They're basically sitting on their hands again. And uh, to put it short, uh, they're just going to wait around for another month, probably. So, yeah. Business hates uncertainty, and they're just letting uncertainty drag on and drag on and drag on. And, well, that's not really any one person's fault. Nobody can really control that. It is a committee made up of individuals, and some of them want double interest rates. Some of them want just uh, you know gradual increase, interest rate increases, and some of them don't want any incre uh, increases whatsoever. Well, how are they going to make a consensus to vote? You know, if they're divided that way, they just have to wait for more data to push some members one way or another. And that data is going to be coming out probably March 10th regarding the February market information. So we're going to be sticking around in basically the same type of holding pattern until probably March 10th, in which case the markets can start interpreting their own data. And then there's probably going to be a little bit of a waiting time before the next Fed meeting, and then the Fed is going to make a decision. And I think they probably will make a final decision by that time. Um, in mid-March to the end of March. However, this is generally good news uh, because it means that we didn't have any harsh immediate impact, right? It just means that uncertainty is still here and that the volatility that was introduced into the market last week when you know some of the members of the Fed suggested having those uh, double interest rate hikes uh, you know, that's going to be sticking around with us for a little bit. It's going to be suppressing the market a little bit, so nothing too exciting going on. However, uh, on the other side of the world, you know, we have uh, this conflict potentially with uh, Ukraine and Russia, and things are simmering down. So, you know, the pressure that President Biden and the West has been putting on Russia, Russia seems to be working. I know that there's a lot of people that like to blame the U.S. for all this stuff. They want to blame Biden. They want to, whatever, they want to blame people. There are like some anti-Americans, right? Like, uh, you know, ran from uh, crypto banter. He constantly is making anti-American jokes all of the time as if the U.S. controls all of this. But in this case, if you're American, you should probably be pretty proud about your country's um, position in this because we really are likely stopping an invasion of Ukraine. And that can be easily understood by the fact that Ukraine wanted to be part of NATO. Uh, Europe wanted Ukraine to be part of NATO. You know, Russia didn't want Ukraine to be part of NATO. Becoming part of NATO is a right in the constitution of Ukraine, and so it was highly likely that Ukraine was on this path and that Russia was going to intervene with a war, a full-blown war in order to take over and control Ukraine if the U.S. didn't apply this pressure and kind of wrangle all of Europe together into a joint effort to, you know, uh, balance the power in that region. And so, yeah, as an American, uh, you can be proud of what your president is doing there. Uh, just ignore the jokes, because if it saves lives, then it's a good thing. And what's the compromise? What's the compromise? Well, maybe Ukraine doesn't join Russia for a while, okay? Maybe everyone just decides, okay, Russia, you're going to pull your 100,000 troops, you know, all your tanks, all that infantry, you're just going to pull it back a little bit, all right? Just... Back off a little bit. Just get your toe off the border, okay? Stop, uh, cr stop creeping in. 
And the U.S., you know, dial down the rhetoric, okay, because there is a lot of rhetoric coming from the U.S., and that's just a counter pressure. That's a negotiation tactic also, right? Just like building up forces on a border, that's a negotiation tactic. And then Ukraine, uh, you know, slow down your process of trying to integrate into these, you know, international organizations that were originally created uh, to prevent expansion of Russia. So I'm going a little bit over my time limit, but uh, the point is, look, it's not as bad as we thought, okay? We're just in a waiting game with the Fed. We're going to find out in a month. Uh, everything is in negotiations. It's up in the air with uh, Ukraine and Russia. We're just waiting, okay? So nothing major happened today. We didn't just get a, su a, pri a surprise, shocking increase in rates, and we didn't get a war with Russia. So stay tuned. Stay safe and happy trading.